longer, um, Professor Young. But I just we we've actually had a, a caller, Joe, who's got in touch, who says he is one of the reluctant individuals who hasn't yet got the job, but would like to be persuaded and wouldn't mind a word to see if you could persuade him. Um, can I just bring Joe into the conversation at this point, Joe? Um, okay, so you're going to get advice directly from the chief scientific advisor here. Why haven't you got the job? when the evidence seems to be pretty clear and has been for a long time, what is um, holding you back? What evidence, Mark, with respect? Well, you've just heard the Chief Scientific yeah, Advisor well, talking I, through I, the I would like to ask Ian Young two questions. OK. And I, I would appreciate it if you could answer them honestly. Have these injections been licensed? Right, and what's your um, second? Well, okay, right, let's take yep. it one at a time. Have they been licensed? Okay, Professor Young. Yes, the vaccines which are in use in the UK are licensed and have been approved by the MHRA, which is the UK body which approves all, all medicines for human use. So the, the answer to that is a simple yes. Okay. So they, they, they are not currently under emergency use authorization. They have been licensed. They are licensed and approved by MHRA. For are instance. they under emergency use authorization? Um, I, they are, they are in use. They're safe. I can't answer that. I'm not a. Well, technical you're, the, you're the chief scientific person. officer. Of course, you can answer it. I don't know why it matters. I mean, it, 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 the well, point it does is that. Mark, okay. Excuse well, me. It, it does matter, actually. Does it? Does it actually yeah. really matter, though? I suppose yes, that's of course the point. it does. If you want it to matter, given, it can matter. But maybe it doesn't really license, matter. Mark, they've been given what is known as emergency use authorization. Okay. All right, second right. question. So, second question. Are these injections experimental? Are they still under the umbrella of clinical trials? Professor Young. Um, yes, there are still clinical trials going excuse on. Excuse me, the... excuse me. Are they, still ex are they experimental? There are still clinical trials ongoing in relation to vaccination. Could As you tell me when those clinical trials finish? majority of medicines which are in use and are taken by people every day. Okay. Clinical trials don't stop whenever something is licensed. Could you tell me right. when those clinical trials... Hi, hi, hi on, Joe. It's not a, we're, we're, not, we're not sitting in a court here. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, with the greatest respect, uh, you've got the chi chief scientific advisor who's, yeah. who's, who's very um, kindly agreed to actually talk to you. Yes, I see yes, in your note I it says... That more. OK, so you, hang on, respect. Ian. Hang on, hang on. What you, what you say in your note, I see to my colleagues, is that maybe by talking to Ian Young, he could convince you to take the vaccine. Forgive me for suggesting it sounds very much like you don't actually want to be convinced. Well, Maybe you would answer that. Is he not a ble yes, is he not obliged to answer those questions? I think, I think he has answered them. How about you answering my question? Would there be anything the Chief Scientific Advisor would say that would persuade you to have the vaccine? Be honest, yes or no? Well, Mark, with respect, why would I take the word, with the greatest of respect to Ian Young, of a proven Liar. Well, look, let's leave that. Okay, you can't come on and say that on the air, and I have no idea what you're referring to, but we're going to leave that call there. Thank you very much for getting in touch. We're trying our best on the programme today to have a civilised and sensible uh, and illuminating conversation uh, about the battle against COVID. And if you're going to come on,